guys, I am Chris Kaler and I'm Amber Foss from QGN and today we are back again guys with the OC episode 9 of season 2 um, which I, is... I don't know I actually don't know, we'll see later <laughs> title of the next episode cool. so last episode uh, pretty much everyone had problems with their couple, with their loved one relationships are complicated guys yeah. Sandy forgot about their 20th anniversary with, with Kirsten uh, Ryan and Lindsay were found out by Kirsten, she found them having sex so that's bad um, you got Seth and Alex who spent time together and he was he would sneak out to go meet with her so the parents were mad about that uh, and they I mean they kind of tried to make them separate a little bit so I found out about the term actuality means news yeah <laughs> yeah she does she's so different from Max's family and she doesn't feel like she belongs she had and, other interest and DJ figured out that Marissa was basically using him to get back at her mom mm. even if she you know didn't really mean to like that's what she truly was doing so but everything ended up fine with pretty much everyone DJ did leave but he left on a good note he's like okay I mean we had fun moving on uh, you got Ryan and, and, and Lindsay now, they can be together, Kirsten gave, gave her okay. Sandy was being cute with, with Kirsten so she forgave him. And Seth uh, introduced Alex to, to his family. Yeah. Uh, oh, and Max basically told Summer that he fell in love with her. So there's no point in trying to change herself. Cool. So yeah, we love when it's, it gets a happy ending. Uh, but Marissa now doesn't have a boyfriend, so I don't know what she's gonna do. <sighs> Alcohol, maybe drugs. Drama. Maybe, again. maybe go back to Ryan and mess things up with Lindsay. Although now oh. they're friends together and it's fine, but mm, she's alone right now. I don't know. We will see. But this is pretty much where we left last episode. So yeah, let's jump in this new one and see what they what they do next. <laughs> don't forget to subscribe, you guys, if you want to see more of these episodes and check out our Patreon for the full length reaction. In the meantime, let's go. I didn't expect to see you here. Right now. What's going I'm on? Kind of busy. My ex is in town. Hmm. Even worse. He's been waiting for me. The ex isn't technically an ex. We never oh. really broke up. I really do want to come back to dinner with your family, so maybe we can do it after the ex leaves. Okay, so the ex is leaving. When? Later tonight? Stay in the night, that's cool. His insecurities are about to come out. And now it has I have to deal with it, so it would be great if you could just <clears throat> let me figure it just out. Just in other words, stay away while the ex is in town. Unless you're cool with the three of us hanging out. I'm gonna have to get back on that. No one likes to fig find out like this that an ex is in town and they didn't know about the ex and they're also being but asked to stay away. It's mm -hmm. not really that he's an ex, it's that he doesn't know that he's an ex. That's worse. Oh, is that the that's ex? the ex. <laughs> oh, she doesn't. She really doesn't seem to know she's an ex. Okay, in her mind she's still with her, so... Alex. You need to make up your mind. I love your shoes. Thanks. I really like your... No. <laughs> your backpack. Wow. Huh. They're so different. Oh, it's the same situation, you know, when you have the ex wow. around. Every day she looks like she could be on the cover of a fashion magazine. Good thing I'm not competitive. What are you talking about? You said it, everyone has an ex. And you seem to hang out with yours a lot. Yeah. yeah but they're friends. Maybe you two should become friends. We can all hang out and it wouldn't be weird. <laughs> yeah, me and the Cosmo girl, yeah, that wouldn't be weird at all. It would tend, like, you would be comparing yourself to DX and you'd be like, like, is, does he still have feelings? Am I good enough? Like, should I change? He used to have to like really girls like so her. I'm not really his type or something. Yeah. Well, well Seth would definitely be like, I'm not her type. <laughs> She forgot. Oh my god, it is. I've never been in a relationship this long. Neither have I. I think we should celebrate. We're she seems a really underwhelmed. Not really excited about it. I think so she's used to you know shorter relationships that go bang, you know, that have a lot, but they've just been cruising the whole time and she's like, whoa. Forget Cohen and Zach and Ryan. You know what? We need a break from the boys. What, you mean like a girl's night out? I do indeed. Aren't they gonna make that thing where they need to connect with the, the so new girlfriend so like they're gonna have Lindsay in the group or something? But I hope they do, she's nice. Yeah, but she doesn't fit in. I have better news. You know you can sit with. Uh, no, that's okay, really. Uh, come on. Soon are you get to know each other, the better you'll be. Yeah, I'm not sure I'm ready for that. 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 Yeah, I'm not s
know her as soon as she stop being my ex and become your friend. It's always nice when we can hang out and have fun. But don't force it. Don't force it, yeah. Let me join you. I gotta meet Seth. It makes them all feel like they have to pretend and try too much. It's not genuine. Yeah. This is so good. Great idea for him to drive through for lunch. It'll probably be hours on the elliptical train working those off, huh? Ah, oh, don't get bad. So you guys can just eat cheeseburgers oh. and look like you. It sucks to be the type that gains like 10 pounds with one fucking fry. We know. Cold bread, cold bread. We need help. Where you calling her anyways? I'm gonna go down there. No, yeah, I am. If I'm gonna lose her, I deserve to see the guy I'm losing. Trust her and respect what she said. What if I go down there? I come with you, okay. Go down there, I'll say, pick up your paycheck, sniff around for the eggs. Thank you, bro. Trust you, bro. You must be Alex's new guy. No, I'm his friend, Ryan. Really? Wanted to meet the son? Huh? I've seen him before. Here are the eggs. So, you didn't see anything at the club. No, nope. There were no shady guys hanging around Alex's office. Definitely. Didn't see any guys. Uh, are we meeting Zach here? Tell me everything that happened. In fact, better yet, reenact it word for word. <laughs> Zach, how are you? So Great good timing. to see you. How are you? <laughs> Thanks for breaking the tension. I think I freaked Summer out. I don't know. She bailed on her date, and now she's doing some girls' night out thing at the bait shop. So why don't we go down to the bait shop tonight and give the girls a little talking to? Or we can forget about the girls. Yeah. Do our own thing. Have a guys' night out. <laughs> I like my plan. Or we go to the bait shop. Oh, come on, we spend every night with the girls. Let's try one night with them. Could be kind of fun. Guys' night out. So when did you guys meet? Me and Marissa. What? I mean, it made for one of the best episodes of teen drama ever. You're kind of fucked. <laughs> People freaked out over the OC based on that meeting. You just smoked. I was sitting in Sandy's car, waiting to see if Kirsten would even let me in the house. Walked down to the other driveway. There she was. So, love at first sight. Okay, great. L let me out, buddy. <laughs> Wasn't it? Who are you? I'm whoever you need me to be, or something like that? I don't know. It just. Uh... It connected. I don't remember. Mm. Ooh, that stuff. She's gonna feel threatened about that. Tell you. Yeah, it felt. When it sounds like you added that just to make her feel okay. Yeah. Uh, please don't feel like you have to babysit me. Oh, no, that's just Brian. He gets very protective, you'll see. Referencing the whole time when you were his girlfriend. Nope. Please uh, don't. So this is where you live. I mean, uh, it is. I mean, it's, it's really nice. <laughs> Thanks. The yeah. awkwardness. <laughs> They're from different backgrounds. They don't have interests. Right? I mean, right now they don't seem to have any interests that connect. And they're. Hey, you know what? They oh. both went out with Ryan, and it's not How over. How about an icebreaker? Oh, uh, I don't. I don't really. Sorry. Um, that's totally. Oh, cool. not that I, I judge anyone who does this. It's not something. Don't worry. I don't know. Icebreaker turned into awkwardness. Oh, thank God. Yeah, must be summer, so I'll just go grab the door. You know, hang out, make yourself comfortable. If she finds a photo of her and Ryan, like it's gonna be worse. Yep. Oh, man. Only one photo or more than no, one? No, I think they're, it's all about them. Oh, that's worse. There's a lot of other words where they are, seem to be in love. And it's the fact that they're not together anymore, but she still has them and she still puts them around. On display, yeah. Mm -hmm. This is so much fun. Yeah. Yeah. You can't force friendship. You know, um, I'm thinking the whole sobriety thing. Oh. You read my mind. <laughs> you shouldn't do that, like, especially if she's not used to drinking like this. <laughs> She has a secret boyfriend the whole time. And she I knew just it. Never gets around to <laughs> I know. All I wanted was to celebrate our six month anniversary at Summer Heads for the Hills. You'd celebrate going out for six months. This is so not how I imagined our guys. <laughs> I said we go to the club. When will we go out? No, bad idea. 
Why? Have you seen the universe in the Girl Scout Wild? Because this is exactly how they began. He's right. I'm going. Me too. Ted, I'm telling you, as your friend, don't do this. You no. know something, don't you? No, no, I don't. Don't ask me. Come on, give me a sip. Did you meet the ex? I know you did. All right. Yes, I did. And who is he? He's a she. Mm. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> But honestly, it's not even about that. They told you they needed a break, they needed a, a, a day away. You don't respect that, you don't respect them. Yeah. There's a time for, you know, not listening and showing up, and there's a time for leaving them be. I'm not scary. Thanks, I think. No, I mean, like, it's like, scary. You've got nothing to worry about. Right now. Yeah. He always seems to end up with yeah, Marissa. Yeah. Where's that? Where's oh, that? buddy. I don't know. You know about me and Zach? Oh, we're on that water polo team together. Happy anniversary. Zach turned the locker room into a lifetime movie. <laughs> the water polo team is very sensitive. <laughs> it's How to sensitive? Here. Yeah, uh, always tough to see them here. You want to try upstairs? No, yeah. Summer. Yeah. Especially yeah. if he's coming. So, uh, so I'm not supposed to be turned on. I've read Max. I've read stuff, but you know what? All it's making me feel like is Alex is even more out of my league. Maybe just wait to talk to her to calm down a little bit. Nope. Got a lot of testosterone pumping right now, Ryan. Testosterone being the key ingredient missing from Alex's previous relationship. Doesn't mean she can be into fun. both. And the mentality of being like, oh, you like guys and stuff, like, that's bullshit. So, where is she? Because I will totally fight a girl. I have a job, which I'm busy doing. So if you come down here for some big, dramatic confrontation, it's gonna have to wait. Fine. I will wink. You're way too jealous, man. Wow. I just get so claustrophobic. Sounds to me like maybe you don't want a boyfriend. Aww. I thought tonight was the night for the girl to shoot out the boy. It doesn't look like it. What are you doing here with Matt Miller? What, are you like making your rounds? Yep. Yep, that's what I'm doing. I'm checking up on you. Okay, then why are you here? I don't know. Bad idea. It's true that if you said you wanted to spend a night without the boys and he finds you with a boy, especially since you bailed on him and stuff, like, mm, on your six month anniversary. But like, he seems to have an idea of where their couple is that she doesn't share. Yeah. Wait, no, Miss Dolly. I think that I need some fresh air. That's a good idea. Ah, doesn't want her to turn into Marissa. Nope. Oh. Mm. Oh, that's a lot. That's a lot. Yeah. I like what diet's like. Oh, dinner too, huh? Well, you hang tight for a minute. I'm gonna grab some greasy fries. A lot of coffee. John Atwood special. He's used to taking care of people. Don't, don't leave her alone on the beach. Especially just this side of the ocean. She wants to go swimming and shit, like. Just Come on in and tell me everything that I've done to wrong. For one, you lied to me. I told you that my ex was in town and you filled in the blanks. Blanks that you left blank. It's kind of part of what you do. You got your whole too cool gem and the holograms thing happening and I feel like you consistently blowing me off as part of your act. Point is, this was really fun for a while, but it is just not worth it, so I will see ya. You're jumping on, on so stuff what are you gonna here. Do? I don't know. Let's go find a new girl to walk all over me. Or maybe even be cool to me. I do agree that she doesn't tell him enough and that she doesn't consider... Like, she really pushed him away. Where is she? Oh, fuck, fuck, fuck. Um, Where is she? She went swimming. We were right, you shouldn't have let her... Leave her alone. Please, please, please. Nothing bad is happening to her, just please. Fuck! Ah. Oh my god, he didn't need this. Marissa was this. And in the dark like this, he can't see shit. What are you doing? I just saw her! She's fine! She's passed out in Alex's office! Oh. Oh, man. The worry is not gonna be welcome, though. Marissa, we should get her home. I can do that. Thank you, Dad. This is the part where you blame it all on me. 
So Lindsay's idea to pound straight vodka and pass out. Feel good to see someone else messed up for a change? It was her idea. So it got a little out of control. It always does with you. You spent all last year trying to drag me down with you, and now her? Oh. <laughs> you want to make a mess out of your own life? Fine! Ooh. Ooh. You're doing a pretty good job of it, if you ask me. No one asked you. What did you say? Right. Let's, let's go. Got really worried. Well, he thought she wanted to be drowning in the ocean. Honestly, the feelings come from a from a justified place, but she didn't deserve the anger right here. It she is, should have told Lindsay to stop though when she started. You know, this is what she does all the time. You know, getting drunk and shit. But he was he was worried, so he, that turned into anger, and she yeah. didn't deserve that. I'm sorry if you're being Just not be too intense. That's Just the done. sweetest shit that you can have as a teenager to share a milkshake. Can't apologize. Sorry. Marissa's insane. 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 I know it seems like a million years ago we dated, but it wasn't. I know that. Maybe it doesn't mean anything to you anymore. But it meant a lot to me. The way he talked about how he met her, like, it still means a lot you to him. Lot. I don't know what it's like. And thinking you and Lindsay should be friends was a bad idea. Why? I like her. And if you do the math, she's my stepsister, so... Yes. <laughs> it's just that they have nothing in common, so they don't know what Clearly, to talk about. it's gonna be strange. I'm sorry. That's what I came here to say. I'm sorry too. The thing is, there is no forgetting what they've been through and what they are to each other. It's always gonna be in the way. Oh yeah, Jody. And other boyfriends and girlfriends are always gonna be like, ah. Uh, I doubt it. I mean, does that mean that we can go back to before? Because I can forget this ever happened. Okay, I'll wait. Hi. Right. You ready? No. Yeah. So. I feel like nothing has been, you know, what's the word? Re resolved? Resolved, yeah. I've had enough from girls and guys. There's an old horror movie on. Are you cold? What? You think? You think she had a look? I think. Oh yep. Yeah. Oh yep. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, it's yeah. the look. There's definitely something there. It's like they're tired of the boys, and then she doesn't like her ex. They might. I think. Yeah, they're not gonna show it, but I think something happened tonight. Uh huh. Which, I mean, for the purpose of the teen drama, I think is interesting. <laughs> For the purpose of the relationship, I think is a bit mean. You are in a relationship with Seth right now, my girl. Is she still or during a break right now? Uh, maybe they can call it a break. Is it another friends thing? <laughs> <laughs> Do not start this walk. You're uh, not ready for it. <laughs> no, don't come at me. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna talk about that. Okay, uh -huh. so we'll quickly. If you have something to say about the whole Sandy Kirsten job thing, which I don't really um, have much to say about that. But I'm all the fact that when your spouse is vouching for an idea, you need to support the idea, right? Yeah, but again, I would be the type to be like, it's okay to challenge each other's ideas, and if you think that something else is better, it's okay to support your love, your, your lover or anything, Like, but if you want to go for something else, you shouldn't feel afraid to tell them about it. True. Like, it's just, it's, it means a lot to Sandy, and 
I get it. So, I, I mean, whenever something happens with Sandy and Kirsten, it always ends up with them actually doing the right thing, which is talk about it and, and having, you know... We shall love them for it, start Reaching the right conclusions and stuff. So, I'm glad that they, they once again did it. You know, he's the one that told her it's fine. You know, I, I understand why you chose Julie's idea. It's not something he likes, but... It's their clientele, and it fits. It's just I'm yeah. also going to be traumatized by a magazine with Julie. <laughs> like this. But uh, yeah, the couples. Uh, <laughs> the easy one is uh, Summer and, and Zach. Mm -hmm. She's not, like like I said in the episode, I feel like she's used to re short relationships that have full, you know, full-on drama, that go bang, and everything happens quickly, and it's full of passion, but then it the, the flame burns quickly, and it's over. Yeah. So with him, it's it's slow, and she blinked, and suddenly, oh, it was six months, and Already then he six months, yeah. yeah, and then he makes it a big deal because for him, like he's all into the relationship, and it means a lot to him. But she loves him. She's just not. This is not as passionate. It's not a passion. To. Yeah, she. It's not a passionate love that she has with him. It's a steady love, something that takes its time, and and they're on cruise basically. And for them to discuss it and for him to understand... And I get it that he was mad in the episode, but for them to discuss it at the end and he's like, okay, I'm gonna make the effort. That's kind of what I was saying last episode, you know? You should be willing to talk to your loved one. And if there's something to change, something that the other one doesn't agree with, like, you don't change your cuteness, you don't change what you do with her, but you respect that she's not for the big celebration of six months and you you step back a little bit. Mm. So, well, yeah. it's not that she's not for it she's not used to it so just give her time to settle in the relationship no, she wasn't for it because she's not used to it like she thought the whole celebrating six months and him talking about it with his boys with his guys you know in the mm -hmm. polo team like that was the water polo thing team that was a bit too much like she didn't see the i, I think she didn't see the excitement in six months like she didn't even know it was coming so mm. yeah it's a steady love but they can understand each other and if they can keep talking like that it's gonna it's gonna work for an extent because i know like she's she's not gonna stay with him yeah she's gonna she's gonna go back to set <laughs> go on um, game. ryan and lindsay this whole pressure thing about oh you're still friend with your ex your ex that is a really beautiful and trendy girl and i'm just like your girl next door type of girl well you know? lindsay i get that she feels the pressure we said it in the episode how she would be comparing herself to Marissa. How, if, like you said, if he was in love with Marissa before, how is he in love with me? How am I his type now? She said she wasn't the type to, you know, do competition with Marissa, but she thought about it. You know, how she's not dressed the same, she doesn't do the same thing. So, like, if Seth was in a similar tradition, which he kind of was, he would be basically trying to, you know, up you know, be better than, than the ex or try to be similar in some way and just try to beat them at a, uh, like it's a competition. You know, it, it's so easy to fall into this pattern of like, oh shit, like I need to be more like like the ex because the ex is still around so he must still care and she's so, uh, she's so great, she's so beautiful and stuff. So, so you compare and you think that your boyfriend might still have feelings so you're trying to desperately to make him turn around, make him look at you but there's no point in doing that and unfortunately whenever they do that it's usually what pushes the boyfriend away but do you do you think that Lindsay decided to drink that much because she felt anxiety and pressure yeah or because uh this is something that uh marissa is doing like no. she's the cool girl she's the stranger girl and she's drinking and like it's nothing and i think that as soon as Marissa proposed drinking, because it was awkward, because they they had nothing to talk about, and she does that often. This is her go-to yeah. having fun thing, so much so that she's you know, she's fucking used to it like crazy. Which I don't think she, it's. I'm I'm okay with drinking. I just don't think you should drink because you have nothing else to do. No. When you have when you do make that into a habit, this is when it becomes a problem. And we know Marissa has a problem with drinking. But Lindsay saying that she doesn't drink and stuff, it just kind of, I think it gave her the vibe that, well, it did. It's not just a vibe. It, you know, brought Marissa down and she was like, oh, let's drink. And she was like, ah, I'm not the type to drink. And she felt like she needed to be like, oh, but I don't judge the ones who do. Like, 
it it made the whole thing even more cold than it already was, even more awkward. And they didn't know what, like, they wanted to respect what she said. So she, I think she felt, not pressured, but a little bit, like, she felt that she had to change things and make things more light. So she turned to drinking. She's like, okay, they want to drink. I don't drink, but I'm willing to do it if it makes this less awkward. And on, that's on Ryan. That, that is on Ryan because he really tried to push for a relationship with Marissa and Lindsay, and they are not compatible. You can't force friendship. I'm not saying they can never be friends, but forcing it, especially when Marissa still cares so much about Ryan and Lindsay is still the early girlfriend, like she's still in the, f in the first few months and stuff. Yeah. The insecurities are too much and they don't have anything to talk about. They can't talk about Ryan without it being awkward. And they don't have the same lifestyle, so they don't have fun together. It could change, but right now it's not a good idea. Yeah. And so, yeah, it made it really, really, really weird. It's unfortunate, but I get it, though, because he has fun with Marissa. He still cares about her, and he has fun with Lindsay, and he loves her. He wants them to, you know, hang out together, and he would love to spend time with all three of them. Like, my best friend showed up with his boyfriend the other day, and he was so fucking happy that me and his boyfriend, we, we you know, actually had fun together, and we could connect on things. So, I can't imagine, you know, I never was put in this situation, but he was twice. <laughs> so, which it is also fucked up, because my best friend is also my ex. So, if you think about that, it's even worse. Yeah, but he didn't really fall with him, right? It doesn't mean anything. That, 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 that's not what matters. Yeah, it's but, the... Well, but Danita's boyfriend told him that... Uh, ma make a comment on the fact that... Should I be worried? Yeah. <laughs> yeah no. but just it this. was a long time ago, but that's yeah. not the point. I'm saying that I get that, you know, when he shows up with his boyfriend, he wishes that his best friend and his boyfriend would hang out and be fine together because otherwise you can't really hang out with both. It happens, some couples do it and it's fine, but it's so much easier when they can be friends and, and hang out and just mm -hmm. have fun with everyone together. It also, you know, in a way, like if you think about it, I've said it before, like we watched a thing on YouTube the other day, people discussing uh, Reddit stories and stuff and there was a story like that. And I'm like, mm -hmm. if, you know, you're, you have a friend and you have a, a lover and you hang out with the friend and your best friend and it fits and the, you love each other and it's, it goes, it's good. And you have that sort of same relationship with your lover where you, you hang out together and you have fun and it's good. Then by proxy, the two should also be able to hang out together and have fun and, and be great. If they don't, it means there's an issue there. Like there's a secret they don't tell you. There's jealousy going on. There's something happening because Technically, if his personality and your personality fits well together and your personality and their personality fits well together, they, they should also be able to hang out. It's not always true, but it usually works. Yeah. But when you add the baggage, the jealousy, the comparing, the questioning, well, sometimes it <laughs> makes a mess. So Ryan trying to force yeah. it really didn't help. And, and it's just sad that it led to the fighting in the end of the episode, but, but I, mean, I also get where it comes from. It is still fresh for him what happened with Marisa, Mar Mar Marisa in season one. It's his PTSD. The all the drama, when he, he, he used to take care of his mom when she was black or drunk. Yep. Mar he used to take care of Marisa like last summer when she was black or drunk and she almost died of an overdose. A lot of people agree that even though sometimes we, you know, we love the Marisa Ryan iconic duo, but when you think about it, Marissa is not good for Ryan because when he's with her, he's constantly trying to take care of her. He's trying to save her. It's the, the savior complex of what he used to do with his mom. You know, it's not something he can enjoy. He can't enjoy her company because he's always worried. He's always, you know, trying to do damage control. It's, it, it shouldn't be what he does in a happy relationship. And it's what he always ended up doing with Marissa. So to have Lindsay end up in this situation and make him worry and go back to that pattern once again. Yes, it brought back a lot of feelings. And of course he would blame Marissa because she was with her and it's the behavior that he was used to with her. So if Lindsay hangs out, hangs out with Marissa and does this, of course he's gonna go straight to, oh shit, you influenced her, like you made her do this. You brought up, sh you brought up shit again, yeah. To be fair, Lindsay made the choice herself, but Marissa is the one that proposed alcohol and she should have stopped her when she started drinking more but it's Lindsay's it's Lindsay's choice 
So Mar Marissa didn't deserve the lashing out, but those words were true. And I think she should hear them a lot more than, than once. Like she, someone should tell her several times, like what you're doing is destroying. Like she's heard it in the past, but she keeps doing that shit. She's not as bad as she used to be, but still, it's not something that you should enable and it's not something that you should, uh, you should, you, you know, just allow with Marissa. So those yeah. words, she needed to hear them. Mm -hmm. But in that context, I don't think it was, it was her fault. No. So, yeah. I mean, I the, mean the discussion, the, it wasn't her fault. Yes, maybe she could have checked more on her and uh, slowed down her drinking habits. But again, you're not... That's but I'm she's because... not responsible for her. And technically, yeah. Ryan was fun with uh, Lindsay on the beach. It's just all the stress and uh, the scare that he had that she was maybe drowning in the ocean. I know. Th that fear just... Well, he wasn't her. fun with her on the beach. He was disappointed. When he saw yeah. her like that, he was like, hey. like, he tried to stay happy, but you could see that carrying her, having to care about her and be like, oh, okay, I'm going to go get you some food. Like, it's what he used to do and he hated that. He hated mm -hmm. that he had to do that again. Yeah, but the disappointment switched to adrenaline and fear, and this is... That triggers the anger, yeah. I know. But still, she didn't deserve the anger. Yeah. The words were right, they were true, but in that context, not, in that not way... Not screaming much? Yeah. Uh, but uh, her and Alex, I, I, I think they're, they're going to do something that <laughs> well, night. Well, they had side eyes, um, are we already doing this? I don't know what that's going to do. Like, Marissa right now, she's single. And she's trying to move on from Ryan. She's trying to feel better about the whole thing about DJ leaving. Like, maybe this is gonna help her. And Alex is sweet, but it's not. I don't think it's gonna turn into an actual relationship that's gonna last. But maybe it's gonna turn into a relationship. Just I don't a know. Fight, maybe Alex seems to be tired of set. Like, her lifestyle keeps bothering him, and she doesn't need that because she's always, you know, afraid that she's not gonna be good enough. She said it last episode. Mm -hmm. And Seth is trying to wait and you know be be calm and be the the adult and stuff and but yeah. still his go to reaction is to freak out over every little thing she does and this episode especially I felt that they both didn't respect each other's feelings and boundaries like she told him to leave her alone to sort out the mess so on his side I'm like dude you didn't you didn't respect that you showed up and you really pushed her and she told you not to but on the other side he feels threatened and I get it like you know no boyfriend or girlfriend wants to hear about the ex wants to you know especially if the ex wasn't someone you talked about you know recently like you never informed him about that ex and then suddenly the ex is around and it's someone who doesn't know they're the ex like What's going on here? Like, mm. she was so uncertain about the ex, so yes, he felt threatened. There's there's also the fact that if her ex was a guy, this is something that he knows. This is something that he can, I can have a chance, I can compete with that. But her ex is a woman. He doesn't feel like this he is can, a yeah. This is a different world. This is not something that he can compare us to. And reassure himself that okay, everything's gonna be fine. I think it's diff like some people would, some people don't believe that bisexuals exist, and hey. <laughs> I know, but some people don't believe bisexuals exist. So whenever you're like, oh, I used to be with a woman, and now I'm with you, a guy, you're gonna be like, oh, well, you're into women, so like you have to make a choice, like you have to choose, uh, are you into me or, or are you, you into girls? Or you cannot commit to a relationship. That, so, yeah. that, that's the thing, like, oh, yeah. if, if I'm you but you're bisexual, uh, you're gonna chill on me with other women or with other men. Yeah, which is bullshit, like, it, it, it doesn't is. really, it doesn't matter. Like, the problem is that her ex was in town and she didn't know she was the ex. That's the, the, mm. the only thing you should have been worried about, but yeah. it gave him insecurities because he's always insecure when it comes to Alex. Yeah, he has issues. But that's where she messed up this episode because she's not capable like, she freaks out. Like, her problems, when they show up, she doesn't want to talk about them. She's not a sharer. And when he freaks out, she doesn't want to listen. She wants, she'd rather have him stay away and not make it harder for her. But in a relationship, you have to listen at some point. You have to share. And you have to indulge him a little bit. So if he's insecure, you need to listen. And if you're insecure, he needs to listen. It can't just be one way or the other. So I, don't, I think, you know, she uh, said she was, she left it open-ended here, but... 
Yeah, with that, I don't think that DDB really trust each other enough to respect their bond, uh, boundaries, you know? The thing is, right now, they're too different. They're way too different. And I mean, he was in a hurry. I, I, I do believe he cares about her. It's just that he was so in a, he was in a hurry to move on from Summer and let go of that grief. So maybe he rushed it a little bit too much. And, yeah. you know, she also has issues and she found a guy that's nice, caring, and she's trying to break from the pattern. So I love them both. Mm -hmm. And together they could be great, but right now I feel like they have so many issues and it's it always comes back every episode, no matter how they end it, it comes back. The insecurities, the not listening, the fact that she reacts a certain way and he, he, that makes him freak out and vice versa. They either need to really talk about this or they need to end it because they're too different and it's not helping. But, I mean, I'm, she's about to fucking sleep with Marissa, so I don't know, like, maybe she is gonna move on. Oh, man. That's definitely, if that happens and that turns into a thing, it's definitely gonna bring problems. <laughs> oh, boy. In but any case. what do you think about maybe uh, having an ass with your girls or your friend and an with the boys, like, being uh, fine. separate and be just, just your own independent, independent person from... Your girlfriend or boyfriend? I'm totally fine with it. I'm not the type to be like girl night or versus boy night. I'm ra I'd rather be like a night out with the friends, and it's fine. A relation in a relationship, you should allow your partner it, to sometimes it, go it out. Is, it is LT, yeah. Yeah, you, you. I mean, you should allow. It's not about allowing. Like there are, they have the right to leave with their friends and and be away from you. Like if you spend every single day together, every second of every single day together, sometimes it gets too much. Mm. They are allowed to have friends. Yeah, they are allowed to. Want, you to want should a break. have your own life, your own uh, individual personality beside your lover, your girlfriend, girlfriend. Mm -hmm. Because if you're, if you don't know who you are, if or if you're nothing beside being a girlfriend or boyfriend, what happens when you break up? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no. It's cool to have a night out, but then you need to respect that boundary. In any well, case, it's fun. So thank you guys. I love, I love it. It's DOC. <laughs> it's good. <laughs> Drama. So thank you guys so much for watching this episode with us. I'm starting to have a headache, so I need to go take some Tylenol. Hmm. Uh, if you want to see the next two episodes right away, they are on Patreon already, so you can check them out. The link is in the description mm. below. And if you don't, the next one will be on YouTube next week. So we're going to see you then. Bye. Bye, guys.